I was talking a little bit about energy, but um, uh, I, I kind of designed, I'm not a very good drawer. I kind of designed, it's almost like a manta ray kind of thing. It's just basically a scoop that gets submerged in the underwater tidal currents that are in the ocean. There's areas in the ocean that have really strong tidal currents underwater and they can turn, um, it's a dual impeller design if you can see. Man, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, okay. It's a dual impeller design. Water flows into the entrance. Ah. Water is water is in entered the scoop, and there's two impellers, each spinning in opposite directions to keep the basically this this thing stable. There will also be a, a ballast to sink it, submerge it, and lift it for maintenance. But I was wondering, is this possible to use a smaller scale model? in rivers. Ohio River is pretty wide, so is Mississippi. If you line them, and you basically line the rivers with these small impellers, they may turn slow, but they will. They can probably build voltage as you go down the line. It could be an option to create energy. We're all talking about energy. We're all talking about ways to make energy. We all want green energy, um, but we need to ramp up manufacturing and our own energy production first to produce the actual things that make green energy. It's kind of a, it's a delayed reaction. You know what I mean? Like you have to, you have to ramp up to lower the cost of everything to actually build the stuff that will save your, well, save the planet in the future, I guess. It's like you, you up your carbon emissions, but with a goal to close it. I, I believe that is the option. I think that's the best option. I'm an idiot, but anyway, Jones out. <laughs>